time to see what the wizards are up to. Hi everyone, Hello. it's great to be here. We're so excited to be able to do a pre-recorded video for you. <laughs> it's, you know, almost the same as being at a booth at a convention, having drinks later, right? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> we wanted to, well, seriously though, we do like to be able to send you this message. We're very grateful for all of you. You have helped us to you know, grow our business, grow our player base, and be able to make even more games that we love. We're, we're gonna talk about our product line today. We're thankful for everyone who carries our products and you know who's out there promoting our products and helping it reach, the, reach people everywhere. And, um, you know, because we can't go to conventions, we're really excited to be here virtually at the Alliance yeah. Open House. And so we're gonna give a quick intro of the company for anyone who's a new reta retailer and who isn't familiar with us. And then we're gonna jump into our product lines and talk about our product lines. And we'll also talk about some of the resources we have available for retailers. Yeah. Rob. So uh, I'm Rob Doherty. I'm CEO of White Wizard Games, uh, and of course uh, Debbie Moynihan, uh, COO of White Wizard Games. Um, we make strategy games. Myself and one of our other founders, Darren Castle, are both Hall of Fame Magic players, and we uh, we make games that uh, appeal to players like us, but are also great for casual players. So our games tend to be inexpensive great for two players, expandable up to more players, uh, and have uh, easy to learn but really great strategic depth. So that's sort of the zone uh, of our games. Um, and uh, um, uh, Deb, do you want to throw any other information about a company in there? Um, I, I guess I'll add that um, we've been working with retailers and, and Alliance for many years and we have various resources available for retailers on our site at whitewizardgames.com slash retailer. We have, um, you can sign up for our retailer mailing list. You can get a digital, do you have our paper catalog there? Yeah, we you have get a, a paper digital catalog. copy of our catalog. Some retailers, even if you aren't new, might not know this, but we have a paper and a digital catalog. We usually bring paper ones. So in here you can easily get the SKUs and the product information for placing orders. And you know, there's also images of everything and pricing and things like that. Um, you can also get sell sheets and product images. I know many more people have been creating online stores. Um, we do also have a shareable product SKU spreadsheet that I can share with you as well. You can email me, Debbie, at whitewizardgames.com uh, if you have questions as a retailer about our retailer resources. Um, yeah. yeah. So I was a game store owner for many years before going into mm -hmm. game publishing and the products that we make, I, I had sort of one eye on how would this have been for me as a product uh, in the store. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over our products uh, product line really quickly and sort of let you know about the various stuff. Um, so I'm gonna start off with uh, the flagship product we have that we launched the company uh, with this tiny little game in a box, uh, Star Realms. Um, if you don't have Star Realms in your store yet, oh my gosh, you need to get Star Realms. Uh, Star Realms it won seven Game of the Year awards when it came out. It's a deck building game. It's very simple and easy to play, has amazing strategic depth. This little box uh, has a MSRP of $14.99, so it's under 15 bucks. Um, you get six in the display, so uh, a very low cost uh, to, uh, to get someone into the game. And then we uh, put out a lot of non-random expansions for it. So we've got three base sets. We've got the, the original set, we've got uh, the Colony Wars set, and we've got uh, the uh, Frontier set. Each of these can is a game all on its own. You can play it uh, on its own. You don't. You could start a player with any one of these. So, if, uh, for example, if the base set is sold out, you could order Colony Wars. And when someone comes in and asks for Star Realms or you want to demo Star Realms, you could play with it, with this set. For them, it'll just be like that's the starting set. It doesn't matter which of these you go with uh, to begin. Um, and um, very simple to learn, easy to pick up. Once you get someone playing it in your shop. Um, it'll just sell like hotcakes. Uh, I've never had any game 
have a better sell demo to sale ratio than Star Realms. I've worked with tons of games over many, many years, and like basically, uh, we pretty much at shows get about one uh, deck sold per demo we run. So you know, you run a demo with a couple people. Sometimes nobody buys. Sometimes both players buy. But on average, we sell about a deck per demo, which is just awesome. And it's uh, it's nice and small. Plays quick. Plays in like 15 minutes. Um, it's really easy to play over the counter. Um, we all, and there's a whole bunch of expansion packs out for Star Realms. They're little packs. They look like trading card game boosters, but they're not random. The cards that are inside are listed on the back of the pack. Um, and there's a whole bunch of little expansions there. So while the individual purchase from a customer when they buy the game is a very low uh, dollar sale, um, those people will come back and they'll just over time buy everything. So it, it very nicely ramps up into a much larger sale. Also with Star Realms, you'll find that uh, play groups, instead of one person having it and the rest of the group not having it, which is the case with many board games, because Star Realms is so cheap, like $15 to $20 for one of the box sets, people will play it with their friends and then uh, they'll be like, oh, I'll, I'll get a copy too. So basically you end up with everybody in the play group buying a copy of it. So um, sales on Star Realms are just phenomenal. We've sold literally hundreds of thousands of copies of uh, the base set. We're, you know, yet we're printing this, you know, we printed uh, tens of thousands of units this recently and we're printing uh, printing another print run uh, this year of base set and we're, in, we're print, reprinting Frontiers. So some of the Star Realms sets will go out of stock for a little while, but we'll always reprint them. They'll be, if they're, if they're out currently, they'll be back soon. Um, and uh, so I can't say, I can't encourage this one strongly enough. It doesn't matter what type of gamers you have. Super casual players can pick up Star Realms. Advanced TCG players really love Star Realms. Everybody in between. Uh, this game is just phenomenal. You should carry it. If you're not carrying it, you're just throwing money away. It's awesome. Um, so that's Star Realms. Um, I would, if you don't carry it at all, I'd recommend just getting a display of any one of the Star Realms base set or Colony Wars or Frontiers um, and just play it over, open up one copy, play it with people over the counter. Um, you'll sell through that display in no time and then you can order more, uh, more of the stuff as you go. Um, either base set or Colony Wars are a complete two player game. Uh, Frontiers is a complete four player game and you can combine them together to go up to six players. So these two together can do two to four players or this one and this one can do, do up to six players or you know, and you can mix them all together if you want. There's rules for two players, three players, four players, five players, and six players in each of these box sets. So, uh, and with a whole bunch of different ways to play. Uh, so it, it nicely expands uh, from there. Um, so, um, uh, can I oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Around? So just a couple things. One, also kids really like this game. We have a lot of kids that come without their parents or with their parents and their parents kind of leave them at our demo table all day during the conventions <laughs> or for extended periods of time and they come back to play. So I just want to mention that because just by looking at the box, you might not think, oh yeah, kids would like this game but they really do like it and it's yeah. great for math I, we also get a lot of couples where like one yes. person's a gamer and their partner isn't and they're like this is the game that got my <laughs> husband or my wife into games like basically i was a big gamer and they wouldn't play games with me and then i got star realms and they played that with me and they loved it and it was kind of their gateway transition into uh, indie games so yeah it's great for great for casual players great for advanced players uh and everything in between yeah, and i also just want to mention that we have an app a digital yeah. app for it and you can anyone can play it for free um play it um offline and then we also have a paid version which we will give you free codes if you're interested um for you and for some of the players in your store for our paid version if you come and visit us at our virtual booth yeah um or you can send me an email if you know you you don't get a chance to ask me during the show, we, we would be happy to share that with you so that you can get people excited about the game. We find that a lot of people start here about the app, play on the app, and then buy the game. We don't yeah. like feel like it competes with the physical game at all. We see more sales with the yeah, digital app. Yeah, I think probably and, because the price point's so low, people yeah. will play the digital and then they'll be like, oh, I know that game, and they'll pick up the physical game. You know, it's like, oh, it's 20 bucks, great, and they'll pick that up. 
and add that seal as something they yeah. can play in person. So I just want to mention that because if you want to learn yeah. how to play, there's a little tutorial in there too. Yeah, and uh, um, we have another game which uh, is phenomenal on the same lines. It's called Hero Realm. So this, uh, so when we came out with Star Realms, uh, as I said, won tons of Game of Year awards, sold ridiculous quantities of uh, units. Uh, and a bunch of people were like, oh, we really want a fantasy version of Star Realms. And so we made uh, Hero Realms. Uh, Hero Realms, the base game, is very similar to Star Realms. It has the same uh, core game engine. Now the card set's different and the, and the faction mechanics are a little different and the mix of, mix of card types is a little different. So it'll feel fresh to someone who plays Star Realms, but they'll be able to pick up the rules in a minute. Like, cause it's, it's, uh, it's got the same uh, core mechanics. Uh, $20 box set, uh, good for four players, uh, fantasy theme, beautiful artwork, um, and, uh, and nice, uh, nice box set. And this game expands in really neat ways. So we have four, uh, for the game, we have character packs. There are five, uh, different character packs that you can get. And these allow you to play as a wizard or a fighter or a ranger or a thief or a cleric in the game. This replaces the starting deck that comes in here with a special custom starting deck. You've got a uh, character art with a male and female side for that character type. Um, you've got a special, uh, special ability cards, a skill and an ability um, that you have uh, one you can then use once per game, a really big powerful effect. For example, the wizard has like a fireball effect which deals damage to your opponent and every champion they have in play. Um, and you also have an ability that you can use once per turn. So for example, a thief has a pickpocket ability they can use to steal uh, uh, from their opponent, take a card out and, uh, and gain some health. Um, and there's uh, uh, different uh, matchups you can do. So you can do fighter versus thief or wizard versus cleric, any, any battle combination you wanna do. Uh, these guys are five bucks each. Um, so the base game's 20, the character packs are, are five each. Um, and then the really cool part is when you get into uh, the campaign. So we have uh, the Rune of Thandar campaign. This transforms Hero Realms into a cooperative leveling deck building game. So you take the base game plus one character pack per player, you add this, and instead of doing player versus player, now you're playing cooperatively. You're going on adventures with your friends. You're battling bad guys, which are automated by the game system. And when you win, you'll gain uh, experience, which you can use to upgrade those skill and ability cards you have. And you also might find treasures, which permanently modify your starting deck. You can increase your health. There's entire skill trees for each of the characters in here. All kinds of magic items they can find. Um, really cool, this is a, a, a three-encounter adventure in this box set. And then we've just recently come out with the next uh, adventure in the series. Uh, so we have the Lost Village. This continues the story from where uh, the Rune of Thandar left off. And you've got three more encounters, more magic items, uh, um, all kinds of cool stuff you have for your, uh, for your party. So that uh, he has this cooperative leveling experience, which is super fun. And then you can even play your leveled up characters PVP versus each other if you want to. Um, so uh, that's super cool. We also have some new packs coming out. So we've got the Ancestry pack. Um, this allows you to play as uh, different races in the game. So you can play as an elf or a dwarf or, uh, or an orc or an ogre or a small folk. And that combines with the uh, classes as well. So with this, you could play uh, for example, an elven fighter or a dwarven wizard or an orc thief, any combination that you want to do, which of course gives you tons more variety for the campaign and so many different matchups for the PvP. Super fun. And this can be used with or without the character packs. So you could just use the generic starting deck that comes in here with the, uh, with the uh, Ancestry add-on if you wanted to just play an elf without a class versus a dwarf without a class, for example. Um, and then finally, we've got the Journeys packs. These are additional uh, um, packs for, the, for your market deck. So this just increases the options you've got. So we've got the 
um, the Hunters and Travelers pack, which gives you more uh, cards for your deck that you're buying cards from. Uh, and then we've got uh, the uh, Conquest and Discovery packs. These contain new card types. We've got quests um, and, uh, and artifact cards. Um, so the, uh, um, the quests um, give you things that you're trying to accomplish in the game. Um, if you accomplish it, you get uh, to you basically get a free artifact. So you get a, um, basically a magic item in that you earn in game, um, and you can. So when you're playing PvP, you can uh, com try and complete your specific quest. Maybe you're trying to um, get a certain combination of cards together and play in a turn. Then if you when you complete it, you flip over the card, show your opponent you completed it, and then you earn uh, you earn one of those artifacts which you can immediately add to your deck, and those give you a bonus right away when you do them. So lots of fun stuff so as you can see very expandable super cheap super easy to get someone into incredible replay in this little 20 dollars box set so the game the gameplay value on the base set is absurdly good and then uh people have a lot of t fun playing it and then they expand into a lot of other stuff so it basically just rolls into more and more sales for you very easily um uh, we also have uh since there's little game and it comes with lots of little packs people can add our players have been asking for a storage solution so we recently made the uh adventure storage box this is uh i'll break it open super quick to show you inside so it's got three rows um it's long enough to hold a play mat we have some play mats available that you can order um it's got these really nice hard plastic dividers that separate out all the card types um so you can set up separate it out by set or you can separate it out um, by how uh, play style and uh, and also comes with foam blocks and it even has dividers for the big large cards that uh, that come in the campaign stuff so uh, really great way to keep your collection organized and uh, this is available now Deb? yes it's yeah. available now yeah uh, and uh, so that is hero realms um, I really strongly recommend this one just like Star Realms um, the base set of Hero Realms, it doesn't matter what level of player they are, um, you know, they can be super casual, they can be super advanced, they'll totally get it. And with this sort of segmented system we use, it's really easy to take a casual gamer, start them out with a base Hero Realm set, and walk them up the complexity. They, oh, add some character packs. It'll give you some interesting variety when playing PvP versus each other. Then you add the, you know, add the campaign, and they can sort of walk their way up uh, the complexity ladder um, with, uh, you know, one purchase at a time. So that's um, that is Hero Realms again, super strongly recommended, and pretty much for any type of player. Um, we have uh, some new sets coming out for Epic Card Game. So. Epic Card Game is a strategy card game. It plays like uh, a Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone style game, but there are no random cards, so you buy the little box and you get everything you need. This was the original Epic. We have uh, packs for it as well, just like our other sets. They're non-random packs which add to your collection. And we have the new uh, Duels uh, starter deck coming out next year. Um, Epic is a more advanced game than Star Realms or Hero Realms, so this one I wouldn't recommend for any player. This one is great for your lapsed TCG player or a sort of advanced uh, casual gamer who's looking at maybe moving into the TCG arena. This is a nice stepping stone. Uh, maybe they're for married, that. have a few kids, yeah, and don't, don't have time to play magic yeah. anymore or the money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, the, one of the neat things about Epic is um, uh, each set contains one of each card in it. Um, so, and our constructed rules allow you to have three of any card. So a lot of players just like to play draft and sealed and they'll buy one of every epic set that comes out. But some players like to play constructed and they'll buy three copies of every set that comes out for epic. And some players like to play constructed but don't want to take apart their, part, their packs when they draft. So those guys will buy four copies of every set that comes out. 
So while it won't sell to as many of your customers as like Star Realms or Hero Realms, if you get players who are into it, they will buy a lot of copies of the game. And again, really great for those lapsed TCG players who used to play but now don't have time to keep up with the collection. This is a great way for them to have that same style of play experience without having to, without having to keep up. Um, and then finally, uh, we have uh, Sorcerer. This is our only big box game currently. We've got more in the works. Um, this game is gorgeous. It's got beautiful, beautiful artwork. It's, uh, it's fantasy horror themed. Um, you're playing as an evil sorcerer battling for control of Victorian London. Um, and uh, it's got a really cool process where the beginning of the game, you choose a character, a uh, lineage, which is a style of magic, and a domain, which is like an area we've been training and gathering followers. You put those three decks together, you shuffle them up, and you got your deck ready to play. Um, and it's got three zones, three parts of the city that you're battling in. And when you play your cards, you choose a portion of the city to play your minions in and they can move around and when they fight you roll dice and damage gets tracked on them uh, with little counters so it feels a little bit like a trading card game mashed with like a tabletop war game um really fun again super beautiful artwork um and uh yeah this this game's done really well for us and it's uh we just uh came out with some expansions that are are, uh, are in the works, um, so we'll have some new content coming around for this uh, next year. So that's, uh, that's the quick overview of our product line. If any of those products looked good, whether you carry our products or are new and are just learning about us, if you uh, join, uh, we created a new retailer Facebook group. It is, you can get there from, let's see if I can remember the URL <laughs> now, um, tinyurl.com slash WWG retail. I will put the links at the end of the video. That was uh, pretty good. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, but if you, so if you join our Facebook group, we can also give you the link in our exhibitor booth area, or you can email me as well, Debbie at whitewizardgames.com about any of this stuff. But if you um, come in there, we are going to be giving away lots of prizes. So Rob is very generous at these retailer yeah. shows. He loves to get people excited about our products. And I love to give stuff away, too, because I run marketing. Yeah. So, you know, we like to give free stuff away. Um, so multiple times a day, each day on the show, we're going to be randomly drawing from the members of the retail Facebook group, which is a small group. I mean, we just created it, so right now I think it has me as a member <laughs> um hopefully when you go we'll have some more members um so come join us there and, and we'll also ongoing post about various promotions new product information in there um as well and we'll be doing you know we occasionally do giveaways and promotions or have just special offers for retailers and each time we do a drawing we'll be doing it from the whole list yes. so the earlier you join the more chances you'll have to win so yes. and it's free yes <laughs> yeah so multiple times a day so we'll give away like a a big storage box we'll give away a couple of some displays of products we'll give away you know some game day packs if you want to run tournaments in your store so there'll be a variety of products across the product line that we're going to be giving away so definitely join the facebook group and it'll be a great way to get keep up on our products and get information about white wizard game stuff coming down the pipeline yeah <laughs> awesome so i think is that ever are you sure we covered everything yeah. Oh, I think that's about everything. <laughs> yeah, we got, we've got we got new stuff coming. Uh, if you want some cool teasers about our new stuff, we do uh, a weekly uh, live oh, yeah. stream on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. on the uh, on our Twitch channel. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is the stuff we currently have. And again, Star Realms, if you don't have it, oh my gosh, get that right away. Uh, Hero Realms, again, that's an everybody game. I don't care what your store carries. You should have Star Realms. You should have Hero Realms. Um, yeah. Sorcerer and Epic, awesome games, but those are a little more specialized. So you know, might not be for if you're like maybe a, like a more of a, a hobby uh, hobby shop with a couple games. Might not be for you, but uh, but if you've got some hardcore gamers, those are you know those games are pretty sweet as well. All right. Well, thank you, and hopefully, we'll maybe we'll see you on our weekly live stream. Yeah. That's the other way we've been connecting with people since we can't be at conventions. So again, that's at Twitch.tv/slash White Wizard Games, and also on our White Wizard Games Facebook page. We also um, stream it streams there live as well. 
and we hope to see you there. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, bye.